Hey folks, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio 2.0 Sim with Colonel Will. Uh, I'm Exterminator. Thanks for joining me again. And I, I know the last couple episodes were pretty long. I honestly got so ingrained in the game plan, was having so much fun. I I really forgot I was recording for a while, and then I, and then after like 58 minutes or an hour, I was just like, oh crap, I'm recording still. So I, <laughs> so they went a little long. Uh, you know, apologies for that, but. I'm going to try to keep them, I would like to keep them about 30 minutes, but realistically probably going to be about 40, 45 minutes, but uh, yeah, you know, you can just kick it on in the background or, you know, watch it on the TV at night or whatever, but uh, we're going to get in here. Uh, some stuff happened, not, uh, they did build a kind of off-site huge oil processing build, which I think was discussed near the end of last episode, so we'll overview that. And then more of the kind of train production area of resources got built here. This was pretty much all blueprinted last time. It just wasn't fully built, but it seems mostly working now. We're considering upgrading the prod ones to prod threes for all the circuits. Uh, that's a big project. I think we almost have enough for that. And then also Flay uh, wants to show me a super cool, they have a really interesting oil exchange station, which I think Will was kind of talking about a bit uh, in one of the previous episodes as well but this is built so i really want to see how that works there's some smarts involved that i don't understand probably but uh definitely want to take a look at that so i'm gonna hop back into voice with them and we'll kind of do an overview and see what we can get done i think we are getting uh somewhat close to working on the quality like uh, production base uh that that was talked about a bit in last episode the, or the prior one to that uh, where, where we pr uh, kind of process all the quality stuff from miners. So I think we're well on the way to that. We'll see how far we get. I'm noticing this copper is not looking good. So why don't we hop in voice and see what uh, what's going on here? It's the outside one's probably better. Yeah, we out of call in. No, still here. Right. Oh, I am the, back. And the copper plate trick. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> the copper plate train is late. Is here, it late? Here, I, the, is, I see it running, rushing down the belt. <laughs> I'm, yep. here, I'm here. <laughs> nope, you were late. Yeah, so we've just fired up another copper smelter. Oh, wow. And I think we might need... Oh, <sighs> don't sign. I'm tempted to say more. I think we might need another plate train of each as well. Yeah, I'm noticing the... Oh boxes of plate in the smelter are pretty full ish yeah yeah the the smelter yeah this, this smelter yeah. one yeah it's right here i will print off another plate train of each <laughs> that's a lot like another hundred and something cargo wagons yeah yeah it's it's just gonna it's going in here yeah place is getting busy all those tracks we built at the beginning there's a lot of trains around here now mm -hmm. if anyone's wondering we're up to 46 trains which in existence doesn't sound like a lot but considering they're probably like i don't know six eight ten times bigger than most people's trains <laughs> it's yeah and actually a lot maybe like maybe like five six of them are um, just put per people's personal trains mm-hmm but yeah, there's a good 40 or so full-size ones out there. Yeah. And there's a lot of movement starting to happen. Mm-hmm. So I, uh, yeah, I want to look at the oil build that was built and the oil exchange station. I also noticed uh, that the power consumption basically doubled since my last episode. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> in, yeah, so uh, Kraus missed, missed today and... Uh, Power power station was not looked at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh. So uh, he's on catch up today and uh, building more nuclear plants. Mm -hmm. Should just go in a lake. Get one gigawatt per stamp. The nice. uh, facility just below him is the circuit one. That's pretty much up and running now. It's the green circuit build. Copper wire, three red circuit builds, and then a blue circuit, which is really what we want. We want 
deliveries of the big free circuits to the base to make modules with. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, what a couple loop of delivery in, uh, in base as well. Loop trains, yeah. Yeah, so the this facility was built. I've done it last night uh, while watching TV. Yeah, I saw you were on. <laughs> yeah, and you didn't come and help. Uh, I, I don't know. I was probably eating, honestly, at that point. <laughs> uh, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, we have two of these tire oil bills. One is from coal and one is for oil. We were expecting to be using the coal one, but as it turned out, the crude situation is okay. So we did the from oil build and it's just crude in at the top. Mm -hmm. It makes lube because blue belt takes a lot of lube, so... Right. We have lube deliveries to the base. And the green belt, when we get to that, uses twice as much lube as the blue belt plus a blue belt. So, right. yeah, it's going to be bad. And then it just cracks everything else down to petroleum and then spits out plastic at the bottom. Nice. Very. Yeah, we're making, what, like 25k plastic a minute? Yeah, so that's pretty uh, good. Yeah. We should like a plastic train every 10 minutes. In fact, there is a plastic train. Quarter of a million plastic just parked up and ready. Very nice. So, <laughs> just let that sink in. Qu quarter of a million plastic just parked. <laughs> yeah, just parked. <laughs> just sitting there for whenever. Yeah, which is a good way of chasing the... It's like you chase the bottlenecks around, but instead of looking for empty belts, you look for... We call them angry trains. Just sat there, not screaming for destination four like that is not a good sign that's the green circuit train and the copper wire train mm -hmm. yeah, both those... empty yeah not not good no but below that we <laughs> have half a million red circuits <laughs> just chilling <laughs> just chilling yeah yeah, yeah you casually you know like you do <sighs> <laughs> it's fun when there's a full blue circuit and then like then you do the mile and it's like seven patches just in that train. Yeah. So the whole cover patches. Patches, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, these. Yeah, so it's copper plate because that circuit build above it is the top half of it is waiting for a plate train. So do, there it's do these plate empty. trains come from our base we're in right now? That, like, yeah, they come from. Um, yeah, they come from. This is the smelter section. So I think we, you were building in episode one. Right. So this has to supply plate for not only this base, but for the train stuff to the left, too. Yeah. So, yeah, it supplies us and we put uh, the big belt thing that we're stood on. It breaks those trains up into more smaller belt quantities for starter base. Mm -hmm. But bit by bit, things are going into direct and then we're delivering them. So those red circuits uh, get delivered to this station where yeah. they get broken up. So you can see that there's red circuits, steel is meant to be green circuits on the eight lane, mm -hmm. but it's looking very sad and there'll be blue circuits at the bottom. Right. As well as supplying each other. So obviously the green circuit train has got to supply the direct red and blue circuit train as well oh, as delivering to us. So yeah, not great. They supply each other and us, and yeah. So it's, uh... yeah, we have a so copper looking plate at problem. This. Yeah, a copper plate problem. Yeah, because apparently seventy four thousand plate a minute is not enough. Uh, no, of course not. Which, if you did it old school main bus style, yellow belts would be like seventy five yellow belts. Yeah, Why? which is crazy. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> for, for our starter base. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, so... I guess... So another copper smelter, I think. Yep. And is it, I assume it's just added below in your landfill? Yeah, I'm just... just yeah, we're going to need land. Which This location was chosen because we could build the first few without needing landfill. Mm -hmm. and knowing that eventually you're never going to find a continent purely big enough for everything so right 
it was always like this will have to do mm-hmm. and even now it's not too bad it's only the front half yeah and then just like... uh you guys were telling me about this uh super cool oil exchange area you have yeah so i'll just curse this down you flay uh, does the smarts it's out here so the concept is we use the little 141 oil trains at the beginning because these oil patches are so weak mm-hmm. that to fill a full-size train will take days. Right. So we use the little ones to begin with. Mm-hmm. And the base and, takes the full-size trains, not the little ones. Yeah, so the oil refinery base needs a full-size oil train. Right. So normally, you would, in the past, we would have built full-size ones and then all the little outposts would have to be upgraded to the bigger ones. But it takes ages again for any of them to actually get us a full-size train. Yeah. So um, we had the idea, it came from chat actually, to uh, to, no, sorry, we always delivered the little 141s to one of the big oil stations, but we usually just had a separate little unload and just piped it into the tanks. Mm -hmm. But that always created a sloshing, uneven, whichever end you pumped it into, it would be heavier that end. Mm-hmm. So chat had the idea of doing this with these little stations. So there's multiple unloads for the little trains. And we read each section of the big station's tanks, compare them using the new combinator, because if we have like section A, section B, section C, they each output those. In fact, if you mouse over that substation, you can see the different sectors on the mm-hmm. green wire. Yeah. Whichever one is the lowest, using the new combinator, it turns on the appropriate train station for the little state train to dump into that sector of the unload. And then each section has a pump going, one goes right and one goes left, and the pumps compare the two zones either side of it and will push the appropriate way. So if you only ever injected in at A, Mm-hmm. it would eventually flood down to P by for- pushing it down. Because we've got pump jacks uh, delivering to it because it's at an oil spot. And right. then this train comes in and whichever's the lowest gets increased. Interesting. By a little mini train load, something else will become the lowest. Meanwhile, all the pumps are trying to equalize it. it- hmm. We usually go with we used to go with just the, oh, let it get on with it and it will level itself out, but it was too slow for us. So instead of let, ignoring the sloshing, we're now actively fighting it, and it works surprisingly well. Yeah, this is super cool. But uh, for how it actually works and talks to itself, well, I'll have to hand you over to Smart Department. <laughs> <laughs> You can actually see it on map view, the station changing as it's as it pumps oil into the front. You can see the back towards the back of the station is where the Oh yeah, you can see them turning on and off. Yeah, yeah whichever's uh, white is the lowest. Mm-hmm. These uh these two combinators at the top, if you hover over the one on the left, you can actually see which station it's outputting is the lowest. Okay, yeah. It's currently station three, but as the pumps are pushing the the fluid from the front through, that might change. So it's gone down to four and so on. Mm-hmm. It's also very full, so it. Yeah, it's not really, it's not really easy to see it working, is it? At the... It works best when it's needed the most. Mm-hmm. When it's empty. Or, or, or when it, I suppose when a train, a full size train comes in and takes right point eight million out. Can I think I can do. That. I can force that. Yeah. Oh. It, it, yeah, and it, it's now close enough to unload. So. Yeah, I was just about to do the same thing. we we'll arrange for the big train to come in and take a load. And. The way it works is simple. Like it, it it's not complicated. I, I, I do actually have an idea in my head how to make it more complicated, but 
fun. Yeah. It, 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 it's simple, <laughs> I know. Complicated. It works perfectly fine as it is, and it's nice and simple. But I could make it more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, these all the, the, these combinations are each at each section. They convert the oil number into a letter that's different than an other oil number. Mm -hmm. It's all inputted on the substations. And then these combinators do uh, just a simple B minus A. So it t takes the one on the right and subtracts the one on the left that gets outputted as a different signal. And then these pumps, basically one of them turns on when it's less than minus 500 and the other one turns on when it's more than 500 so if okay. if b is bigger than a then you get a positive number again and it's bigger that number minus a small number is a positive number and if that number is bigger than 500 it bumps to the left if b is bigger than a you are subtracting or no if a is bigger than B, you're subtracting a bigger number from a small number, resulting in a negative result, and if it's m more negative than minus 500, the other pump turns on and it goes from A to B. I see. Okay, yeah, that is pretty straightforward. Yeah. And then these combinators are combining, like, A and B into one section because the train is two sections wide. Okay. I see. And then... And then it takes... It outputs that as a num... Oh dear. Oh no. Oh. Trains have claimed another life. Wasn't me. It's okay. It's fine. Back. Yeah. So, so it, all, it... It adds the two sections together. And puts it at a different signal. And then that gets fed to a... Cell letter combinator. Which is the new combinator we'll be getting in 2.0. And... What's that doing is basically selecting the lowest yeah. number. That thing was very fast. The big sorts trains them, here. Oh no. Sorts them into either sorts them into either ascending or descending and then outputs the either lowest or biggest. The lowest or, or highest depending or, on which way you set it. Or a, a number at an exposition if you input it different signals, yeah. but it, it can do a lot, but we are basically using it to sort the signal and output output the lowest one. Mm -hmm. right. The big train's just left, so now it's going to really work. So the first little train's gone into the far end, number one. Just gets drained instantly, yeah. Drained, yeah. No pipes involved in the whole build. It's tank or pump for quick flow. You can right. see it from map view that the back of the train, back of the big train stations are now open, wanting a train. So when Because train we just had one at the other end. It'll, it'll shift over to the other side. Yeah, there it yeah. goes now. It's towards the middle. Yeah. I see. Okay. Now I put one at the other end. Mm hmm. It tends to favour the ends, doesn't it? Right? It does, so yeah. The, the, the outpost itself is still feeding into it in the middle with the actual pump jacks that are close by. Mm hmm. And it, it's trying to even out the things all, all the while, so. Right. Yeah, and the middles can get supplied from both ends, but the ends can only get supplied from one direction, the middle. Yeah. Yeah, and it's now it's back to the, the near end again. Super Actually, cool. I see when this stone pulls in, you should we should see this this pump to be basically on all the time soon, because it needs to force it to the left. They've delivered enough for another big train already. Yeah. <laughs> and watching if that there big was train... need of one. Watching that big train fill, it's amazing how fast stuff fills with the pumps. Like, yeah, it was like and I'm seconds. thinking that we apply this in 2.0 with iron and copper, liquid, uh, liquidize iron ore and copper ore yes. at the outpost and move it by tanker. The loads, how many inserts, belt balancers, and all that. Do you remember the whole... pumps used to be bad as well, though. They still are to a degree, but nowhere I mean, near as. But we don't use as many as. Like surely this has to be yeah. better than however many, like Is insane that again? inserters that'd be. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not the same train, please tell me. <laughs> no. They they've got it in for you. <laughs> Somebody stole my train. Do we have a we have a traffic jam? 
Is it because he died? Di is this on manual? Or what's going on here? Uh, when we're looking. Yeah, it's just. No, we, it's we just, have, oh, we have just waiting. Okay. In there. It, it's on the <coughs> other. It's the same one missing there. Again. It's on, been on the other side as well. Well, I ain't if fixing you, it. If you do it from the map, I'll stamp it real quick. Uh, yeah, the boss should do it. It's in bot range. Oh, it well, is in bot. We could, dis we could dispatch an undercarriage inspector. To... <laughs> uh, I'm busy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm on my lunch break. Um, uh, five update. But my sense of performance far because I have a good CPU. Yeah, same. It's oh something big's unloading. Oh, look at this. This is how the base gets a serious amount of green circuits. Oh yeah. The half unloader, a half a million. Yeah, fed through eight red belts. Mm -hmm. The infrastructure required to make eight red belts of green circuits from plate is. Crazy. It's doable, but it's it's a lot to do. Yeah. Whereas the diet build, no belt, no bots, just delivered. Mm -hmm. And then for the starter base, we then have them deliver, break it down onto belts for us to use. Right. This green chip shortage is really unpleasant. Yeah, we need. Uh, do we need to manually go build like personal bot build the smelter, or is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need. Uh, what, what do we need? Steel boxes, track, power poles, landfill. Track. Yeah, I've got some track. Uh, I'll get stuff. Um, touching back on the thing about the liquid metals, I think that I think that would be awesome. That would because like if you do the same concept that build that well transfer station, can't use more than I don't know what maybe a hundred pumps total. Or something. Yeah. And compared to okay. if you were to use inserters for, I mean, that would be hundreds and hundreds of inserters for. Yeah. And out of balance, because. Or even if you went down the bot route, you're looking at. Uh, you did. How many bots in your outpost? You did bot outpost, right? Me? Yeah, on your 10k base. Uh, Yeah, like at the mining outposts? Yeah. How many bots oh. per outpost? Well, I was doing yeah. smelting at the thing mm -hmm. uh i think uh, it was insane it was like four or five thousand bots an outpost wow because because of the smell thing right like it was just yeah. so much had to be transferred it was crazy but that's the thing if with the if we liquidize it put it in a pipe put it on a tanker and then take it to a direct build like we do now with the ore anyway mm -hmm. it's still no bots no belts no inserts no, no nothing and a pipe, a couple of pipes and a few pumps, mm -hmm. and a couple of combinators to balance it all out and control it, is far better than the thousands of bots, robo ports, the power it takes to run all of that has to be. Even where well, you can if you use solar, then it's not no UPS, but it's still a lot of faff to build it. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, for all we know, like we don't know the the ratio for turning ore into liquid metal for all we know that could be better too like if it's i don't know yeah like even if it's worse i think i don't thing. care yeah <laughs> well if it if it's it's not going to be one to one but if it was you'd get twenty five thousand ore into a tanker whereas you only get two thousand ore into a box wagon if it's one to ten which i think it would be and if i had to guess a number for simulating it that's the number i'd go with Mm -hmm. You still get um, two thousand five hundred ore into a tanker, which is twenty five percent more than what you get now. Right. The loading speed is twelve thousand a second with a pump, mm -hmm. instead of and no insert. It's just I want, I want two point oh now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it would just be so much better. And then even uh, like uh, in your chat, Totem Hugger said. Like, with the foundries, we could maybe even we can maybe even mine just directly into the foundries. With the that's what I, yeah, we, yeah yeah we, well, I made a mock up of it. You can do it because with the coverage, 
area of the drills you can put a foundry in mm -hmm. and do, have the drill direct into the foundry and then foundry outputs the pipe. Right, exactly. You And you still don't miss any ore. The, you still have total coverage of the patch, so you don't have to faff about moving anything halfway through to get the other half of the ore. Yeah, exactly. So, no bots, no inserters, no mm -hmm. belt. Like, <laughs> the worst thing would probably just be the pumps and the pipes. Yeah. Which would be minimal, I'd imagine. Yeah. And also, uh, uh, easy to uh, set up, not because the belts and inserters and all that use a lot of bot actions, like a lot of personal charge in your batteries. Mm -hmm. But if you do it with a few pipes and a few pumps, it's not a lot of building. Yeah, These exactly. Belt outposts have so many entities that have to be placed. Yeah. Oh, I came down here with like 500 chests and it's already done. <laughs> it's okay, I think we might just put another one in straight away. Yeah, I, I think that's not a bad Because I've, I've got stuff as well. Yeah, I have a bunch of inserters too. Uh, Are you planning on starting wood ducky soon? Uh, no, but uh, go ahead if you've got him. I, I don't, I just noticed that there's almost 200,000 wood in the network. Don't forget calcite. Uh, I think the plan would be to just train cal calcite around the outpost, probably. Oh yeah, I yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, the the I, in my little mock-up design, I had a requester box, so there would be a bot, um, a bot coverage, and a little train would go around delivering calcite in a, into a bot network. But even that is still not a problem. Um, no. Um, I I have questions. Why is there 54 likes in a box? Oh no. I mean, I haven't been here for two days, so... Roll me. Gam gambling for better ones, isn't it? Oh, I'll take those better legs if no one wants them. Mine's too fast for a single smelter. Uh, but the... The foundry is faster. And it has, what, four module slots? Yeah, so you... and if you can't if you can't productivity the liquefaction, you might as well speed it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, and there's well, I mean, I guess there there would be legendary miners and foundries, so it would be kind of equal if you used. But I think well, the think foundry we would get so a legendary faster. foundry will be faster, but a legendary miner won't be faster. It will All be, right. Yeah. It's the it'll use or less. Yeah. So if you just did a legendary foundry, you, you would probably be fine speed wise. Yeah, I think that's it's such an easy solution to problems now, isn't it? So this is too slow. That's okay. I'll just find a better quality one. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's so I mean, great. It, it eventually will be a bottleneck because eventually the mining bill will be so high that like the one foundry but, can't keep up. But, but that's okay, right? Because that would just be a, you know, you just accept that the foundry is the speed of the outpost. If the drill is too fast for it, the patch just lasts longer. Mm -hmm. Like with legendary foundries and legendary modules, I I think you can probably will be able to get a ton of resources out of an outpost, even even if the miners are like not working all the time because they're too. Oh, good. well, be a problem. Uh huh. It it it's fixing itself, but. These two, we, we need an outbound around that's empty, I think, because we had two full iron tines and there is one waiting here. And he, he yeah, can I, I said that earlier. Yeah, turn one buffer off and one storage off at opposite ends, so that is, it is, it becomes one way. If we turn that one to zero, no, and but uh, I, I. And that one to zero. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Hopefully, Providing there's enough plate available. Uh, wait, sorry, uh, blueprint. Can I, can I do that on the copper as well, or? Yes, please. Yeah. Are you planning on increasing power usage significantly? Should I turn on another reactor? Uh, well, uh, I, I think I think we're I think we're okay. Aren't we? I assume we're. Um... Uh, we're not adding, not building anything significant. 
No, I just, just a couple things here and there. Yeah, yeah. The... <laughs> I mean, we're running. We're clear for eight, and you're at six point five. Do you want me to turn it up? No, we're, we're, we'll be fine. We're, we're only building one more thing. Yeah. Just that that thing is a sixty-four wagon smelter. Yeah, who's ever doing uranium mining? Good job. We got seventy k in the box. Nice. Let's throw it all into Grimble. I actually don't know how much energy, how much power one of these smelters takes. Enough that when we turned the first one on, Dean, who was power department at the time, immediately complained about our excessive power usage. <laughs> oh. Oh, steam, it's steam like... o'clock. What's that? What? It steams doing its maintenance, so anyone that connects via steam is getting dropped. Not the only one. Yeah, you're not alone anymore. <laughs> Josh wasn't combat, was he? No, he's not. Oh, yeah, I hope not. Apparently, I didn't have as much as I thought. Uh, I think that's. I just had inserters in boxes. Yeah, I don't have the fast inserters, long smelters, beacons, modules. I have the power pulse and the track. So, but yeah, just keep an eye on Steam. It, you'll be back on as soon as uh, Steam is done. Every it's every Tuesday at eleven p.m. Uh, do we have? I assume we need to run back up, or do we have a train we can bring down here? No, you'll 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 have to run. Not ah, great. <laughs> I either take the long way around or the likely deadly way. <laughs> I'll go for the Through deadly. Middle. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? About to find out. <laughs> I wasn't oh, look, sure he stopped if it was for stopping. It. How nice. <laughs> oh, there's a car. Yeah, drive the car across. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like an extra life, right? Because if the car gets run over, you can still eject. Onto the track. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Where's the end? <laughs> oh no! I was about to run through there! <laughs> Almost through. You made it! It's a miracle! It's like a gauntlet! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we need... Long inserters, fast inserters. Uh, yeah. What else? Beacons, the furnaces. Beacons, yeah. Beacons, speed ones, and green dot furnaces. Do we need? Uh, uh, and pod one modules. Just mm -hmm. normal, not any dot. Yeah, I don't think we're at the stage of upgrading these. Okay. Uh, uh, Posture's getting the beacons. I don't know how many furnaces. Um, uh, let me see if I have 256. We could um, start making some of these green prods. I might do get bots to get do the, the ones that get used a lot. Get the prod ones. Fast inserters, I don't know how many, probably a lot. I did have some, I put some down, but not, not all of them. So. You said you're getting the beacons, Will, or no? Uh, Postral's getting them. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's about 256 of each insert type. I think 256 is a number that comes up a lot with these builds, because 64 wagons and there's four right. smelters to a wagon, so... Each need a long hand, each need a fast. Mm hmm. Uh, speed module ones, you said? Yeah. Is it 512 props for the. Yes. Prods? Yeah. Okay. I've, got, I've got them. How many speeds? I've got the prods. 
712. Okay. You know how you said I didn't need to turn the reactors up, but we're already at 7.5? <laughs> we haven't even turned it on yet. It's not even down. It's being built. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I'm, I'm turning it up to 9 at least. I swear, if I die, bring all this stuff oh. down there. Haha. -ha. I'm sure increase in the copper smelting won't have any cascading effects on power because nothing else will turn on from then. <laughs> yeah, surely a green and blue circuit build will also turn on. Mm hmm. Okay, bots, do I have my stuff yet? Way too much steel. Oh, crap. Okay. Come back down. So, in order to do the quality processing base from or did I did you say that like do we need to have quality modules in every outpost before we do that I assume yeah like we don't we are start as soon as the first outpost gets it it starts but in order to run smoothly all the other outposts really need to have quality modules mm -hmm. like it might maybe over the course of a day we transition but yeah, within a few hours, you want every drill to have quality because it just will cause an imbalance if some of your outposts are not contributing quality materials. Mm -hmm. We'll probably also at the same time transition to um, big mining drills because they can have four modules instead of three. Right. So it will be a case of... Uh, phasing out these old outposts into the new ones. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be... To go get the quality turns, the blueprints of them, so I don't have to remake them. Yeah, so it shouldn't take too long. The biggest problem is getting enough modules. We need an, uh, a tier 3 module for every mining drill. Well, 4 for every mining drill. Oh, so you just go straight to tier three? Uh, yeah, there's, there's, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. Because again, the same problem. If you say if you have all tier ones in all of your drills, because that's what you did to start with, you start getting some tier threes. Great, I'll put them in the copper smelter in a copper outpost. Long ended inserts. I didn't get those. I didn't know we needed those still. Also, I have a whole small bit okay. of furnaces. <laughs> Extern can go back up and ah. go up again and get them. It's one of the red inserters, I think, that are left. But do we need another one after this? I mean, I already <laughs> have the furnaces and the fast inserters, but... I, I got I a think... question. Does, does anyone understand what's happening with these two inserters? Why are they not pulling fuel cells out of the reactors? Are they on um, whitelist nothing? They're... The, the whitelist is there, but there's nothing in the boxes for it. Yeah, so turn it to blacklist. That, oh, okay. I didn't realize if it was whitelist nothing, it wouldn't work. It's a uh, quirk of the all oh. inserters filtering mod. Uh, okay. Well, no, it's a quirk of the game, but I think that there is a bug that if you paste over an inserter, it turns it to whitelist. If it doesn't filter anything. Oh, okay. Uh, as well as I was saying, yeah, so if you had all tier 1 quality modules in your outpost and then you get a few tier 3s and you're like, great, I'll put them in my copper outpost, that copper outpost starts producing more blue quality copper or out of ratio to the iron to go with it to make green circuits. Mm -hmm. And your quality base will get jammed up with blue copper plate and 
not have enough blue iron plate to go with it. In fact, and then the green iron plate will back up because there's not enough green copper because it came out as blue disproportionately to each other. Right. And you get a mess because it just deadlocks itself. Mm -hmm. Uh, this copper, it, did, did we break something? There's like no copper in the bay. <laughs> I mean, okay, a train just got here, but. This... I think we don't have enough copper smelting. This is a very sad situation. The Auckland's are kind of lucky as well. I thought we're, we're at our safe limit thing? for them. Ah, we could, uh, this coal train can be emptied somewhere and disposed of, yeah. and we can then open up, we can repurpose that yard to another copper ore train and get another... Send it for trash. Do you need two stone ore trains? Yes. But that's, they're not a problem. Oh boy. So, is the issue we just don't have enough Well, there's, I mean, but there's no trains in the copper uh, yard, even. No ore trains. Are they just... Yeah, we need more, yeah. Yeah, more ore. But we can't have, we, if you don't have one enough yard for ore trains, we call it the safe limit. Mm -hmm. If you have five ore trains and four ore. spaces, if iron ore, say, has a disaster and... The copper ore trains all get backed up. One of them will be stuck out on the main line, which could potentially block the iron trains from getting in, which it needs to get in to use the copper so that the copper trains move and it deadlocks. So we call it the safe limit. You can exceed safe limit, but it, you can never stop mm -hmm. running. Right. Once you're above it. But now that we've repurposed an extra copper station by kicking that coal train out, Yep, we now have a safe limit of five. You don't go, uh, upbuild the train. And, and that's only one extra. It might not be enough, but... If I'm reading the outpost stats right, is that saying we can have six more trains possible? Or I forget exactly no, that's how saying that... So that is saying that there are six copper outposts out there with a train load of ore ready to go, but does not have a train on its way to collect it. As soon as the train leaves the yard empty, heading to the outpost, that train load of ore comes off of the chart because that's gone, that's smelted. Right. The fact that the train hasn't arrived yet doesn't matter. There are six outposts worth of ore, or six train loads of ore at outpost unclaimed. No trains on the way. Just... With no train on the way. So yeah. how do you convert that to like, how many more train, but uh, or trains you can add before your too many trains for the outpost? No, it, or is it just not? It doesn't. It doesn't. The the this yard is defines how many ore trains you can have. Oh. Okay. Because they have to be able to go somewhere. Right. When Unless they come. You can keep going and guarantee you that you're not going to stop. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you end up with a big traffic jam. In our gigabase, we had a safe train limit of 24, I think it was, copper ore trains, but we had like 60. No, it was 40. It was okay. Two. All right. And we were. It was, it was There was 20 on A and 20 on B, and the iron trains, we had 40 on player and 40 on steel. Jeez. Mm -hmm. But we were. We had like, was it 400 trains, I think, by the end of it? Yeah, but the, the copper trains were the ones that failed mm -hmm. in the end. Yeah, because 60 trains wasn't enough. Oh dear. Could we use train limits in a way to where they wouldn't try to go to the stacker and they just wait at the outpost? Yes, but the problem is that the, as the outposts get further away, the lag for them to arrive is too they're... long. If they then allocate their station as well, um, that's taken up a, a slot that a train might want to take that's a lot closer. 
Yeah, the close yeah. train could have got there, used it, left before the far one arrived. Yeah, we used to have gatehouses, didn't we, to mm -hmm. bring the trains in first, but to try and trick the trains because they're lazy. Right, that coal train's gone now. I've decoupled it. Alright, I think this is fully built, so can we we can probably connect it? Uh, yep, yeah, go ahead. I don't see anything messing. We're gonna need some more radars. Uh, I can I've got make three radars on me. One goes there. Oh, makes it stum. Yep. Well, it stums bot. <laughs> <laughs> Purple is not fast enough again. Well, I mean, we have more, like no more boringly. So you need three radars to fully cover one of these builds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but with a small power pole. Place again significantly busy now. If there's going to be any junction traffic problems, they should start mm -hmm. showing themselves. So, like, what would be the move uh, if, because inevitably we're going to need more than five uh, copper ore trains. So, and, and there's not really any yard room left so do, is there a plan for that go over the safe limit <laughs> and hope for the best <laughs> <laughs> and hope for the best yeah <laughs> i mean it's empty now so we can take another yeah. five trains. <laughs> 520 spm nice not bad more worryingly the iron ore trains have disappeared as well great I think we could get one more yard. Yeah, on, on, on top. One line. Yeah, yeah. On one line. Maybe at. Uh, no, just on the wood. Yeah. Sh shall we do that? Then we can add another iron ore train. I'm thinking about kicking that steel train out, but he's got to have access. Oh, he could come in down the plate line, couldn't he? If he parked somewhere else, that would give us another one. And I think, could we get one more lane underneath? I think you could if you move some power poles around and some rubber ports. If we... Or, well, I don't know if yeah. it can make the turn at the end. It wouldn't... Yeah, we have to move those rubber poles. If we ejected the steel train, we put him there. We could then do a curb, because he's quite infrequent being steel, is extremely dense. We could park him like there. Where the port's going to have to move. I mean, at worst, we could start moving some others down. That's another option as well, I assume, yeah. We can take the top smelter off. Right. And remove it. And drop it to the bottom. That's... It's not ideal because it's no. a lot of work, but it's doable. And in fact, I've just noticed that this rail here doesn't need to exist either because that was the old coal station for refueling that doesn't exist anymore. So that can all go away. I'm actually going to get rid of my idea. I think we can fit more in now. Those rover ports can move and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do some playing around. We'll, we'll get some more yeah. train limit in there. Was... And you'd be okay to go over the rail, the safe limit, by one, because it's four-lane rail up here, so even if one was parked on here, the iron train can still get round on the other line mm -hmm. to get past it. So you can, you, we have a, a plus one. In fact, two directions plus two. And right. should still be pretty safe. For a minute there, I was jump. I was up to like uh, seven and a half update time. We definitely added a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. It gets worse before it gets better. Yeah, I, I the assume it gets high, and then once you really do quality, it probably can come back down. 
Yeah, and the direct builds uh, save a lot. The starter base belt stuff mm -hmm. is not good. Like the the the, the this is is a lot of belt. yeah <laughs> yeah. So right, the extra irons in. I don't know if you wanna. Are we? Do we need more friends? Yeah, I think. Uh, I'm going to put two, two in down the bottom. Stop the easy and then see what needs to move. I'm not actually sure this robo network needs to even be down this far anymore. Mm. Yeah, but along the along here, can't it do the thing down the middle? Uh, yeah. Right, I'll just get rid of all this then. That radar can move to there. Oh, that lost. Yeah, that's probably important. Yeah. <laughs> it's only um, it's only power to the uh, yard at the top. Put a power pole in the above. Come on, bots. Yeah, I wish they'd go inside that's to like, charge. That's how you get past the train. I don't know if you, <laughs> you, I don't know if you saw that extern there. Yeah. Did you, did you see it? Uh, oh wait, no, I missed. I did, I did this. I got in a train and then got back out. Oh yeah. Out on the other side. <laughs> I, I don't know Coming if down. I can do that. Last time I tried that was on <laughs> SpaceX and <laughs> we know how that ended. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember that when you were like, I thought I'd get out the other side. Yeah, yeah that was that was what spawned the what kind of hell, what the hell kind of train is he building on this map when I <laughs> tried to just hitch a ride and. <laughs> yeah, I think these are um, these are baby. They, they were baby trains, right? I think they were sixteen wagons or maybe thirty-two. No, they they're three eight three. Oh dear. So those bottom two have to be iron. Yards, not copper. Um, I was thinking that one would be the steel. Oh, well, yeah, steel. And then steel, steel would turn into copper. Because copper. steel is very infrequent. It's just not copper because they can't get into the that first smelter. You know what I mean? Yeah, do we want to reprogram them then? Swap Re them all around, so, yeah, so that oh, yeah, I, iron's at the bottom and copper's yeah, at the top. Yeah, you could do. Which might make more sense because a lot of the copper smelting is at the bottom, so they'd go down the outer rail in theory. Yellow sides. Play, you're making those poor construction bots work so hard. I didn't mean to. I, <laughs> I wanted to, to, for them to move it up here, but I, I didn't like roll for the cover at first. It's fine, I'm only gonna make them move it again. Alright, all good on this end. Yellow Science struggling again. Did we move the... oh, never mind, there it is. Hey there, Echo. Cheers for the sub for 69 months. How's it going? Thousand. So you said once we want to put quality in outposts, that's what we would switch to the big mining drills? 
Yeah, because it would be a change to the outposters uh, blueprint, and it's a, you know, a significant change to how things are done. Right. Group it in there because the engineering outpost building trains will change as well, and because mm -hmm. they'll have to carry the modules, and that's when it's like, well, change the drills as well. You know, the whole thing just happens in one go because it, it always you have to change the modules into the little drills and then change. Right. The more different types of outposts you have, the worse things get. Oh yeah. You stupid bots. If we were in 2.0, this wouldn't be a problem. Have we... There's a lot of movement over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are we making big mining drills anywhere yet? Or oh yeah, looks like we've we made a few for uranium. Uh, the uranium mining are using them. I can turn it back on. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea to start, start making a thousand of them or something. Yeah. It's like we already have like uh, we already have like fifteen hundred. Uh, quality three modules. We're just short on blue chips for them, but other than that, they're ready to make. And there's almost a hundred in the box. No robo coverage. Okay. Oh dear. Oh no. Yeah, we need to move those junctions. They're problematic. Evolution. I'm not really sure why the green circuit train is down there. Probably we're not in Grendel Adventure. Oh, we've got, we've got uh, seven copper and five uh, iron plate now. Uh, or I've moved coppers to the top. Okay, cool. Is this bottom one still meant to be copper? Oh, wait, no, that's for the other thing. I was zoomed out too far. For the smelter, cool. Could even like up upgrade that junction to a far way from far way. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> to have four lines coming in. Mm hmm. Yeah. Smelter. That seems like a good idea. Because this place is getting busy. <laughs> yeah. Trade, look, instead of look now, there's three, oh, oh, no. there's three of them on the move. They're, they're encircling you. <laughs> they're all different directions. <laughs> it's like Sliver. <laughs> yeah. It's like you. <laughs> you, you, you wait for the train to, to go one way, then you walk across the rails and you have to wait for it again because it's double back on itself. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, so, when we identified the copper plate shortage, we were at 70,000 copper plate a minute. Mm -hmm. We're now at 100,000 copper plate a minute. Oh, that's that's a good thing to see. Mm -hmm. Just pull thirty thousand more plate a minute. Oh, no, pull plate a minute. Yeah, <laughs> it's so easy to build these smelters as well. It's just eh, more smelters, fine. Yep. <laughs> Turn on another power section. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're clear for like 12 gigawatts or something, so we're probably okay. All right. No, I mean, for this, this junk. There are currently 12 power plants stamped, but only nine are on. 
that that's where the rail lines come out. But if you look at the far way, far way, far way junction. Yeah. Yeah, Getting I into see. the top line. We're, we're too close, aren't we? Yeah. Hmm. Oh my god. Although we could, we could peel the, the corner that's there on the that's shown on the blueprint. We could peel that back a bit so that it gets into the first couple. Maybe. This is a really uncomfortable if, standing here. Uh, oh, this is the best view in the house here. Oh. <laughs> Good job it turned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But there was that one, and there was the one coming out as well that nearly got. Yeah, the, the, do you see how it used the same line as well? Mm hmm. Oh, there you go. A containment zone. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, as long as none of them jump the rail. <laughs> I think if this gets too busy and it can't handle it and we do need to do four, we put the four-way junction in here, lock the top smelter off, adjust the stacker, we rebuild it, yeah, all move and, it down, and yeah. move it, yeah, yeah and do really what good. do what needs to be done if it's this is not enough smelting. It much to drain that um, top smelter. No. I think the next step is we'll start putting some better furnaces. Uh, I think there's enough blue um, furnaces to do some more and probably start moving to green dot modules on some of them as well. Hmm. Rather than add more. We went with the brute force approach, but next we'll make them uh, faster. Right. This top one is on a blue smelter and it's a craft speed of 5.44. Versus yeah. four point four two, so it's faster than just, and that's just a furnace upgrade. Mm -hmm. 